ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفر ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله وبعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم واياكم ومحدثات الامور فان كل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار my respected audience beloved brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I would like to invite you all to open your ears, open your heart and listen to me with an open mind to see what I am going to say today. I would like to start from the beginning when our first father Adam was created from dust a miraculous creation of Allah created from no father and no mother but from dust when Allah created him Allah ordered all the angels to prostrate showing respect to Adam not to worship him but to show the respect which happened everybody prostrated but one and that was the Satan yes a shaitan Allah says وَإِذْ قُلْنَا لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ اسْجُدُوا لِآدَمْ فَسَجَدُوا إِلَّا إِبْلِيسِ When I said to the angels prostrate to Adam, everybody did it but Satan. What did he say? He said, أَنَا خَيْرٌ مِّنْهُ خَلَقْتَنِي مِنْ نَارٍ وَخَلَقْتَهُ مِنْ تِينٍ Ya Allah, oh Allah, I, I'm not going to prostrate for him. I am better than him. You created me from fire and him only from tin, from dust, from soil, from earth. And with this arrogance and pride which came in him, he lost himself forever to be in the hellfire after. He said, then Allah said the meaning of the of the the translation of the meaning is that when he swayed by the by Allah by the honor of Allah that I'm going to misguide each and every one of them except those who are your pious servants Allah said the haq, the truth is what I'm going to say I'm going to fill the hellfire with him and those who follow him all of them will go in there so this is very clear from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no wonder he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the prophet the final prophet the last messenger he said لا تتبع عنا سنن من كان قبلكم حذو القدة قذة بالقذة حتى ولو دخلوا جح حتى ولو دخلوا جحر دب دب لا دخلتموه that you are going to follow the footsteps of those before you, step by step. The nations who were before you, step by step. If they even go and enter the hole of a lizard, you will do it. Meaning that you will go and do follow those of before you blindly. The mistakes which they have done, you will do it. Misguidance which they have followed, you will do it. Disobedience to Allah which they did, you will do it also as the nation before you have done it now keeping all this in mind let us see what we are going to learn what jazakumullahu khairan 
based on what I have just said, I would like to present something very important to all of us. Now, it is very important to know that we all, every now and then, become victims of the whisperings of the Satan. Also to know that Allah made it very clear when He said, La ikraha fiddin, that there is no compulsion in the faith of Islam, meaning that you are not forced. You choose whatever you want, but the consequences of that is in the hands of Allah. If you choose the right, you are rewarded. If you choose wrong, you are punished for that. Now what I'm going to say in these coming minutes is not from me, not from any Muslims, not from any Muslim scholars, but it is from the researchers and the scholars who are not Muslims but Christians. Yes, that's true. And it is all to do with Easter holidays. We are in the mood of Easter holidays, in the mood of Good Friday. So many things takes place in this time. Let us see what the researchers and the scholars of Christians they say about it. About Easter, about Halloween and Christmas observances. They say that they are among the most commonly observed religious and secular holidays. It is from the word of holy days. And many people, they believe that they are a part of worship system of Allah, of the God. However, basic research into the origin of these holidays shows them to be unacceptable to God. Remember, I'm not saying this from what Muslims have said, though they say the same. But here, these are the Christian scholars who say this. So anyone who wishes to worship the true God correctly, should understand the seriousness, seriousness of celebrating these religious and secular holidays because their origin and practice involved fertility rights, sex, sexual licentiousness and the worship of false God as the central focus of their celebration. So let us target one thing only. What is the truth about Easter holiday, holidays? Each year in the spring, masses of worshippers celebrate Easter. Around the world, Easter sunrise worship services are held on the tops of hills and mountains, while priests, they chant and utter incantations. Devotees kneel and bow in worship towards the east as the sun crests the horizon. Now this worshipping of the sun or facing the sun, worshipping at the sun, time of sun rising itself is prohibited in biblical verses. The places of worship overflow with people dressed in their new Easter clothes. Bells ring from cathedrals and stirring hymns fill the air to inspire and uplift the ministers, uh, worshippers. Ministers and priests, they announce the resurrection of Jesus Christ with great acclaim and joy. And after the religious rites are over, the children are treated to an Easter egg hunt. Now, this is the description of the modern day celebration of Easter. But strangely, it may seem, but the truth is that the similar description applies to the Easter celebrations in Babylon over 4,000 years and in Asia Minor over 2,500 years ago and also in the Roman pagans with the Roman pagans in 100 AD. So we see that many rituals in the name of Christianity such as the Adonis of Syria and eighties of Western Asia takes place all over the world on this particular holiday. All of these are examples of how far paganism has penetrated Christianity. Only the names were changed, not the religion. Yet this pagan Christian Babylonian religion with some variations has been embraced as the universal Christianity of the world. Catholics, 
Orthodox and Protestants. All of them, they observe this Easter holiday. And they take this as a way of celebrating their Christianity. But the truth is that this is a pagan day of worship and not of Christianity. And if we go and see the God's teaching concerning, concerning pagan practices, it's very clear that the Bible shows that the New Testament church opposed the pagan religious practices and the blending of these pagan practices with the worship of the true God. And if you want, you can go and see in many verses which will prove it as I have said. Now, God has condemned the pagan practices and throughout the Bible, God shows that he has never allowed his people to worship him by means of pagan ceremonies, ceremonies and rituals. In the Old Testament, the children of Israel cut themselves off from God whenever they left the true worship of God. Today, the same spiritual principle applies for the elect of God who are to worship God. And we know that it is all there in the Bible for those who want to. So in the summary, we come to this. That the historical record clearly shows that the following things about the practice of Easter. That Easter celebrations did not begin with, when Christianity began. The Bible does not command Easter observance. Early New Testament Christians did not celebrate Easter. Easter was celebrated by pagans in their worship of evil spirits thousands of years before Jesus was born. God condemns the practice of Easter type worship and calls it an abomination. Also, many of the leaders of the Christian world now know the truth. So the leaders of the Christian, they know the truth about the pagan practice of Easter, but they refuse to repent. And in Ezekiel 8, 18, Therefore will I also deal in fury, my eye shall not despair, neither will I have pity. And though they cry in my ears with a loud voice, Yet I will not hear them. So this is the punishment to those who disobey the commands of God. And you can see the previous minutes, almost for seven minutes, I have been speaking what the Christian scholars and researchers they have said about something which is very commonly practiced by them, very widely believed by them, and they consider that as part of their religion, part of their practice. And the fact is, it is not. Now after speaking a little bit of what the Christian scholars, they say, related to Easter, a holiday in which they believe, the Christians, that on Friday Jesus was crucified, which is known as Good Friday, and then they make the Easter Monday. And they consider this Sunday to be the day on which he came alive again and he was taken off from the cross and he revived. And he survived. This is their belief. And now, let us see if their own scholars have made it clear that there is nothing called Good Friday or Easter Monday. And it is not part of the celebrations of the Christians in the way they have taken it. It will be only fair and nice that if I say a little bit of what the Quran says about our beloved Prophet Isa, Jesus, alayhi salatu wasalam, may peace be upon him. Before I go, I would like to encourage you, please, to go and visit and or see the title, Did Isaiah 53 really prophecies Jesus crucifixion now Isaiah 53 verse 53 perfect, perfectly agrees with Islam's claim which is that regarding Jesus peace be upon him that he never died on the cross and he was lifted to Allah Almighty we believe in the miraculous Jesus of death the birth of Jesus he was a prophet a saintly figure he never committed any sins being mentioned. And 
this is confirmed and we also believe that he was not crucified as you will see it if you really go and see it in those uh, verses which I have just mentioned now Muslims they believe that Jesus peace be upon him according to the Holy Quran is a wonderful humble generous messenger of Allah who came down and revealed God's words to his people the people of Israel Muslims do not believe that Jesus is God nor they believe that God ever chose to come down to it in a form of a man to die for our sins to purify us and forgive us according, according to Islam Jesus never died on the cross nor ever wanted to die on the cross nor ever was born to die on the cross people thought that he got executed on the cross the Holy Quran rejects this idea and claims that it is a false one Jesus never died on the cross no he ever died for anyone's sin sins let us see what Quran says about it as I have encouraged previously to go on verse 53 of Isaiah and see it and check the correct translation which many have tried with very cheap shots to change it to suit their desires but the fact is that the Bible which we have in front of us truly if you go and examine it it clearly shows that Jesus was not crucified as many Christian scholars who have researched they have come to this conclusion also now Allah says وَبِكُفْرِهِمْ وَقَوْلِهِمْ عَلَى مَرْيَمْ بُهْتَانًا عَظِيمًا and because of their that's the Jews disbelief and uttering against Maryam Virgin Mary alayhi salam a grave false charge that she has committed illegal sexual intercourse وَقَوْلِهِمْ إِنَّا قَتَلْنَا الْمَسِيحَ عِيسَى بْنَ مَرْيَمَ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا صَلَبُوهُ وَلَكِنْ شُبِّهَ لَهُمْ وَإِنَّ الَّذِينَ اخْتَلَفُوا فِيهِ لَفِي شَكٍ مِّنْهِ مَا لَهُمْ بِهِ مِنْ عِلْمٍ إِلَّا اتِّبَاعَ الظَّنِّ وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ يَقِينًا بَلْ رَفَعَهُ اللَّهُ إِلَيْهِ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَزِيزًا حَكِيمًا And because of their saying in boast, we killed the Messiah, Isa, that's Jesus, son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. They were boasting about it. We have killed him. But they killed him not. No crucified him. But it appeared so to them. It appeared to them that they have killed Jesus. But it was not. The resemblance of Jesus was put over another man. And they killed that man. And those who differ therein are full of doubts. They have no certain knowledge. They follow nothing but conjecture. For surely they killed him not. That is Jesus son of Mary. But Allah raised him up. But Rafa'ahu Allahu with his body and soul unto himself. That is he went up to the heavens where he is and Allah is ever all powerful all wise وَإِن مِّنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ إِلَّا لَيُؤْمِنَنَّ بِهِ قَبْلَ مَوْتِهِ وَيَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ يَكُونُ عَلَيْهِمْ شَهِيدًا and there is none of the people of the scripture that's the Jews and the Christians but must believe in Jesus in him Jesus a son of Mary is only a messenger of Allah and a human being before his, that is, Isa alayhi salatu salam will appear up in the heavens in the, with the end, uh, before, before it will happen, yawm al-qiyamati, yakunu alayhim shahida, before they die, they are going to bear the witness of that. And on the day of resurrection, he, that is, Isa alayhi salatu salam will be the witness against them for whatever they have done. Now, this is what Quran has said to us, the final revelation Al-Quran Al-Kareem Also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He makes it very clear when He says إِنَّ مَثَلَ عِيسَ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ كَمَثَلِ عَالَمْ قَلَقَهُ مِنْ تُرَابٍ ثُمَّ قَالَ لَهُ كُنْ فَيَكُونَ 
الحق من ربك فلا تكونن من الممترين Verily, the likeness of Isa, Jesus, before Allah is the likeness of Adam, Adam. He created him from dust and then he said to him, be and he was. There is the truth from your Lord, so be not of those who doubt. So if miraculous bath of Jesus makes him a son of God, then what about Adam? His bath is more miraculous from nothing, from dust. What about Eve? From a man's rib. At least the bath of Jesus came from the womb of his mother, as the rest of the babies, they are born from the womb of their mothers. You see, so whose bath is more miraculous? So, is this enough as a sign to take him as a son of God? Allah says, Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Say, Allah is one. Allah who summoned, his needs are none. Lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad. He has got no sons and no daughters. He was he did not begot anybody, beget anybody, nor was he begotten. He has got no partners at all. Subhanahu wa ta'ala the exalted. And then he says Fa'in tawallu fa in the Laha Alimun Vil Mufsidin. And if they turn away and do not accept these true proofs and evidences, then surely Allah is all aware of those who do mischief. قُلْ يَا أَهْلَ الْكِتَابِ قُلْ يَا أَهْلَ الْكِتَابِ تَعَالَوْا إِلَى كَلِمَةٍ سَوَاءٍ بَيْنَنَا وَبَيْنَكُمْ أَلَّا نَعْبُدَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ وَلَا نُشْرِكَ بِهِ شَيْئًا وَلَا يَتَّخِذَ بَعْدُنَا بَعْدًا أَرْبَابًا مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ فَإِنْ تَوَلَّوْا فَقُولُوا اشْهَدُوا بِأَنَّا مُسْلِمُونَ O oh, people of the books, قُلْ يَا أَهْلَ الْكِتَابِ O oh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, say to the people of the scripture, and that is the Jews and the Christians, come to a word that is just between us and you, that we worship none but Allah alone, and that we associate, associate no partners with Him, and that none of us shall take others as lords beside Allah. Then if they turn away, say, bear witness that we are Muslims. Now, from this it is, my brothers and sisters, my beloved ones, the message is very clear in the Quran that Jesus was a messenger. He came to this head. He had a miraculous bath and he was not crucified and he has been raised up to the heavens. And he will make his return back. A day will come when definitely he will come down most likely in Damascus it looks like. And from there he will travel directly to Beit al which is in Philistine in Jerusalem. And from there he will proceed with his teachings which we all follow the true teachings, the true salvation of Jesus of Isa alayhi salatu wassalam. Now I pray to Allah, Ya Allah, yes, you made it very clear that nobody is forced to believe anything. But whatever we believe in, the consequences of that we do have to face, if not in this world, then definitely in hereafter, after doomsday. O oh Allah, I pray to you, O oh Allah, the one who created us all and the rest his creation, that show us the true path, true path. always make us follow the true path. Make it easy on us. Show, us. show us the light leading us to the paradise which we all need. O oh, our Creator. O oh, our Creator, Ya Allah, Ya Ilahana, Ya Rabbana, O oh, our Lord. Please make it easy on us. Please don't make it difficult. Please grant us the paradise which we all want to go to. O oh, Allah, make it easy on us. Ameen. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. وفي الآخرة حسنا وكن عذاب النار اللهم إنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين اللهم أعنا على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك يا أرحم الراحمين 
سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد والله إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته